Hello everyone and welcome to Vlog Mail for the month of January. Guess what? It's a new year. We get to change one of the numerals at the end and that numeral is a seven. It gets to go and turn into an eight. What up? It's 2018! You startled the cappy. There's a cat in Mallory's lap because he's... He was, he, was he, in last month's video, he was in- He was in yours. In my lap, he's just a lap cat. We have got mail from you guys, uh, all the mail that was received, well, sent. Yes, And sent. also, I guess, somewhat received in uh, January 2018. And we're gonna open it for you, starting with the leathers. Now, our first and featured leather is from- Emily in Davenport, Iowa. And uh, Emily sends us this, quite frankly, super cute, uh, lounging polar bear. I'm gonna call it lounging polar bear. It's, oh, the name of this image is actually Bad Boys of the Arctic. Or just lounging polar bear. Hello, Mal. I just wanted to drop you a note to say thank you for the beautiful Sonic painting that arrived a few weeks ago. Uh, it's going to be hung in my office once winter break ends. I'm a religion professor at a small school, and this piece will probably only help my reputation as part of the gaming enthusiast faculty. Uh, oh, so Emily has um, the one with Robotnik. Yes. I see. I'll make sure that I post a show a picture on screen so people know what, uh, what, what I'm talking about. What painting that is. Uh, I've been watching Stephen plays for longer than I can remember at this point. My spouse and I are both 30 and, I think, a little older than the average subscriber, and have truly enjoyed watching Malmakes take off since its inception. I did a lot of drawing as a student in high school and college, but have a lot less time for it now. Your videos are a fun reminder of how exciting and occasionally frustrating the artistic process can be, and inspire me to pick up my pencils every now and then. Hope your new year has been good thus far. My spouse and I celebrated our second anniversary on January 2nd, and I'm prepping for the academic year to pick back up. I'm finally proposing a course on theological themes in video games and gaming, so if the department is supportive, I might get to teach it as early as next year. Who says you can't integrate gaming into a seemingly unrelated professional field, right? Best to you and yours, Emily. Well, Emily, first off, thank you for the letter. Uh, thank you also for buying one of Mal's yeah. original pieces. I really like the... Um, that painting? That that painting. Uh, I, I have s I just, some level of input on, on all of the paintings. Yes. And originally that piece was uh, just... The landscape. The landscape. And Mal had finished the landscape and I said, you need something. What about Robotnik in the background flying in his little contraption? And Mal was like, that's good, that's good. So, that's, that's, I just, like, I can think of, like, little things I've contributed to your painting uh -huh. so that I feel like I helped. Like, you painted it. <laughs> but I'm like, I helped. I did a thing. Um, also, that's super cool about yeah. uh, being able to uh, incorporate gaming and themes in gaming, which is stories. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, themes from stories into... Uh, th course on theology it, yeah. classes like that's kind of that's uh, that's kind of neat. That's so awesome. Actually, it, it reminds me uh, of way back in the day when we were on Starman.net. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of obviously it was a site dedicated to Earthbound, so there were people tearing apart that game and um, looking at all the different themes, mm -hmm. and some of those were kind of theological based, like the what's the there's a name for it, like the the Christ thing. The Christ, like a Messiah figure. Yeah, 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 that that sort of thing, like within Earthbound and things like that. So it was neat, and it's cool that you would get a chance to work gaming into your field. So I hope that they approve that. I hope that you're able to do that. That is our featured leather for the month. But there was also another leather from Jarrett, and uh, Jarrett runs a Etsy shop, and the Etsy shop is called Chopsware. And uh, Jared included <laughs> Jared included a business card, which I'm going to show you because I find it really cool. It is a SNES card, and uh, on it it says modified Game Boys, Deku Shields, and custom Super Nintendo cartridges. And uh, Jared included the leather, but what I really wanted to focus on was the fact that um, Jared sent us some Franklin badges because uh, Jared sells these on the Chopsware shop. Etsy shop, and I haven't actually looked at them yet. No. Uh, Mao has kept them a secret from me, but she said they were really, really yeah, good. Yeah, they're really cool. Okay, these are really, really good. You're not, Here, you're not wrong I'll at all. On this one. So these are done in two styles. Um, you have got the the 
normal Franklin badge, which uh, this is what people are most uh, familiar with. And this is this is the design that's seen in uh, Mother One and Two. Mm -hmm. This is what they. This, this is this is, is the, the Franklin badge, and then that one. is that's uh, I always call it the Courage badge. Is do I call it because it? Like, that's what it starts out as, and then at some point it gets polished up or something. That's right. Okay, it's been a while since I played Mother Three. I'm and I know it's reflecting all the colors, but it's gold, and the lightning bolt is silver. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's cool, and it's got all the. Um, what do you call that? Like the indentations. Indentations. It's engraved. Engraved? Is that what I want? Yeah. For like the little parts? Because like this one's flat, mm -hmm. because it's supposed to be flat. But then this one's got all the little indentations. And these are these are probably like an inch and a half, maybe? I don't know. I have big hands, so I'm a <laughs> I have it's a bad indication of how Here big is things a are. Pen. Yeah, so that'll give you a, a good in, uh, indication of how big these things are. But they're pins that you can wear. These are really cool. This would be really cool for cosplay. And um, I wanted to just plug this because Mal was like, these are really cool. These are really well done. And I was like, cool. And now I've had a chance to see them. I'm like, dang, <laughs> these are really good. So uh, check out Etsy. Is it Etsy. How, how do they do their URLs? Slash shop slash chopswear. Etsy.com slash shop slash Chops wear C H O P S W A R E. Awesome. Anyway, Jared, thank you for sending these our way. As Earthbound fans, we certainly appreciate this stuff. Uh, that is it for the leathers. We're going to move on to packages, and there are quite a few packages. Our first one is from Bruce in Fulton, New York. Alrighty. Inside we have. Uh, looks like it's an amoeba. I think it's some sort of amiibo, but I, I think <laughs> I got my hand like oh, it's like the world's like worst hand puppet. <laughs> I'm a package. I was thinking oven mitt. Or yeah, I mean it would probably protect you from the high temperatures for a brief time no, until it melts no, it onto your right hand. away. Uh, yeah, there's a tiny little note shoved down in here, and this says, uh, "Just thought these could use a good home. I got them for free when Target uh, was doing buy one get one." Uh, Buy one, get three free. What? Wow. Target was doing buy one, get three free on Animal Crossing Amiibo. That's cr That's a phrase that doesn't happen in retail. Buy one, get three free. Wow. Enjoy from Bruce. Well, Bruce, uh, thank you. And inside is... I can pull it out of the package. I promise you I can do it. It's Kicks. Kicks. Now, Mao has been playing... Um, New Leaf again. New Leaf. Uh, she played Pocket Camp for a while, and then it's not that Pocket Camp was bad, it's that it wasn't New Leaf, and she was like, man, this makes me want to play New Leaf. And Mao hadn't played New Leaf since the Welcome Amiibo update, yep. and it's like a whole new game, so she's been really enjoying it. So you probably know who this is. I mean, he was a New Leaf, but yeah. Was he? He sells shoes and socks on I Main I never Street. got that far. Did you know that? I never got yeah, this Yeah, you never to... got that store because when I loaded up your game to steal all of your things, you didn't have the store. Yeah. I, I felt like I played Animal Crossing a while. How did I not get this store? You didn't buy enough stuff. I was sticking it to the man, man. Your I was... character wasn't wearing shoes when I loaded it. That's because shoes are overrated. You don't need no shoes. And then there are, there's also, oh, it's Timmy and Tommy. These ones I know. They run the shop. I should hope you know those ones. <laughs> How can you buy furniture if you don't know Timmy and Tommy? How can you get the special furniture if you don't slip them extra money under the table? Very, very cool. Uh, Bruce, thank you. And there's like a little piece of cardboard to keep the uh, package from collapsing, which was a good idea too. Bruce, thank you. These are, uh, these are awesome. We do not have these. We'll put them on the shelf with our collection. Our next package is from Nick in Bear, Delaware. And... This looks hard to open. You want this? Yes, thank you. Uh, let's see here. There is a leather. There's also definitely a thing in there. Although I guess, I guess a leather counts as a thing, right? Dear Stephen Amell, Merry Christmas. I decided to pick up and send the two of you gifts. No spoilers, but I'll say this much. Both are Blu-rays. Stevens is a show he's wanted to see, and Mouse is a movie of a so sh show she watches on Hulu, since they probably don't carry the movies. Also, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. One is D.D. Savant Kepler. 
<laughs> and it's a car, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card and it says Kepler on it. Um, as soon as they announced the card, I thought of your cat and I've been wanting to send it for years, but I knew I couldn't send it until they made a Sagan card. Since it looks like they aren't going to make a Sagan card, uh, I did the only other thing I could think of, sending a Sangan card, since you can make it Sagan by just removing the first N from Nick. And on the other side is the Sangan card, and the N is just scratched out. It kind of... I like how my first thought was like, it kind of looks like Sagan. Kind of. If Sagan... Had three eyes. Was, it had three eyes and it was a little fr more frightening. But otherwise, yeah. Does Kepler look like Kepler? Uh, no, it looks like Robot. Hold it next to him. Hmm. <laughs> Who wore it better? You decide. Uh, all right, so inside, we've already learned from Nick that there are Blu-rays. So I'm really curious to find out what these things could be. Oh, and they're wrapped! Aw, because it, it's Christmas presents. All right, so this is mine and this is yours. You want to open them simultaneously? No, I'm opening both. It's Christmas time for Mal. Oh, sorry, And Kepler. just Mal. Did you drop it on his poor little head? Not his head. Back. <gasps> oh, hey. What you got? What'd you get? It's... It's Sailor Moon R the movie. Now, you have to explain to someone who does not understand the Sailor Moon timeline. Um, where does I don't R... actually know because I've only seen one of the movies. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Okay, I didn't know if R was like a series. Mm-hmm. So there's like Sailor Moon. There's Isn't there one called Sailor Moon V? Or am I making that up? You're thinking of Sailor V. Oh, Sailor... Oh. Because mm. there's different series. Like There's, there's right. like a lot of arcs, and then there's like Star, and then there's like the Star, new one. that's it. Okay. Yeah, there's... um. It's hard to it's hard to keep. I don't know Sailor Moon like I know Dragon Ball. So, <laughs> and this one is this is oh my god first theatrical feature. So that might be I don't know. I'm really excited. What is it? I'm really excited. What? Nick Nick was absolutely right. I've wanted to see this for a long time. What? I have referenced this for years. I've only ever seen like a few episodes. Uh, late night Adult Swim. Uh -huh. I've never actually seen the show. I make mention of it all the stupid time because the, the theme song is so catchy and it gets stuck in your head and you say it, you sing it on on like like Morning Mario. Like sometimes before before I like hit the a goal or do a thing. What do you sing? I say three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, ba -da 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 -da. It is the complete Series of Cowboy Bebop You've on Blu-ray. You've talked Blu about watching that. I've a lot. really, I've really wanted to see this. Thank you so much for sending this our way. This is awesome. Um, yeah, we um, we actually have not been like we watched uh, the original Full Metal Alchemist, and then we haven't watched a show. Yeah. I like, guess we been haven't months, picked up a new and show, and we have never picked up a new show. Part of it is it's been. I think our life has been in like somewhat like disarray, mm -hmm. and it, it felt like our lives needed to be kind of more grounded before we got back to watching some sort of show. And uh, we've just been watching basically YouTube videos for, for lunch and dinner. Yeah. And uh, I would very much like to watch Pick a show a again. Show. <laughs> and um, this, I don't know if this is, will be the one we watch next, but this is going to be watched. I'm really excited about this. This is, um, I mean, people, people say that this is easily like one of the best anime ever made. So. Can we watch this? Sure. You know the basic idea. I know that it's, I, I, I mean, I, I've seen Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You know the basic idea. Usagi turns into Sailor Moon. What's her name in the, in the dub? Serena. Serena, yeah, you say Usagi, I'm like, who dat? <laughs> new, new number, who dis? <laughs> who dis? Um, anyway, Nick. That's super awesome, and I thank you so much. The next package we have is from uh, Diami, I believe it's Diami, uh, Malala Organ. And I need to, is it, oh, this has got the pull tabs, right? Yeah, Priority Mail does that. Oh yeah, I just pulled a tab. And inside, oh man, there's, okay. in there. Uh, now, don't get too excited, you'll read this first. Dear Stephen Amell, 
Hi again. You might remember me from uh, last year when I sent that magic box. I want to say I'm enjoying watching the Fallout 4 and Pikmin 2 Let's Plays. By the way, when will you start Pikmin 3? Anyway, I was out shopping and saw this. I know you enjoy getting snacks, so I sent cinnamon bun Oreos. Ooh. That's what I saw. I knew they were Oreos. Ooh. What? Oreos been like on the ball, man. They've been making all sorts of like crazy flavor combinations and stuff. Uh, and uh, just so Sagan and Kepler aren't left out, I sent them treats too. That must be the container I saw. Oh, look at that. I love the illustration on that with the, the cat being like, chicken, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> I, am, I am going to consume your flesh. Uh, let's see, uh, by the way, I know this is late, um, so consider this a New Year's gift as opposed to a Christmas gift. Keep doing what you do best and have a great New Year. Yes, I also sent a holiday cookbook because I am sure you can get some use out of it. And that's what this is. And this is a Pillsbury holiday baking. That looks really good. I mean, that's that's Which tort. <laughs> that's a pretty that's a pretty delicious looking cover photo. I have yeah. to admit, that's uh, that is not bad. Um, anyway, from. Diami, I believe I'm saying that right, Diami. Uh, Diami, thank you, uh, I sincerely appreciate it. I have not seen cinnamon bun Oreos, um, nor have I tasted them. Until now. Oh, they smell so good. They, you know what they smell like? The, um, the cookies themselves, oh, they, sm they smell like a much stronger version of the uh, cinnamon Teddy Grahams. Mm -hmm. That is what these things smell like. And That's what the cookie part tastes like. Oh, really? I have annihilated boxes of cinnamon Teddy Grahams in my time. I'm a child. <laughs> it's okay. Those were good. They also remind me of, um... There was a, um... It was something that... I believe Matthew sent because I think it was a um, a Canadian treat, mm -hmm. and it was um, they were like little tiny cinnamon roll things. They didn't have a cream filling or anything; they were just a cookie. But it was like the same company that makes the the Canadian maple creams, but they were cinnamon rolls. It also tastes like that. These might be preferable for some people just because they have the cream inside. Those are good. Those are those. <laughs> Those are dangerous. Those are very dangerous. Those are very dangerous. Those are so good, and I'm like, hmm, I should probably have one more. Can I have the yellow thing? And the by cutter? And by one more, I mean... All of them? <laughs> yeah. Like six more. Six more would be, um, would be good. I You'll... think someone needs another thing. Here. Yeah, it's it's true. If we, if we get a chance to sit here and eat a cinnamon bun Oreo, perhaps the kitty cats would enjoy... Oh. Having a, uh, this a little treat. This is sealed treat. like the feta cheese. No, it's it's a, it's a stay fresh pack, so it won't uh, it won't be. go bad. Can't be. Sagan is over there, and he's like, I see a thing, I hear a noise. Here, take that. I can tell that this is for me. <laughs> Get up here. Can't be. Don't shove your head in there. You want you want one? <laughs> don't here, take this. Don't come me. over here and sneeze on me. Did you have? You have I two? have two. Okay. Sagan. There you go. Ah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. No more. That's it. Well, you can have more you later. You swallowed them so fast. Did you even taste them? Do you even know what they taste like? Under two calories per treat. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Boys, there's plenty. There's plenty, but you don't need to eat them all now. We just wanted to give you a little sample. And now they're going to go through here and be like, maybe there's some in this pile. <laughs> anyway, thank you again for sending all this stuff in. It's clear that uh, we were not the only ones who enjoyed the food. The cats have also very much enjoyed the uh, the treats. Our next package is from Gunner in Fairport, New York. And Gunner sent, there's some sort of fabricy something. Thing. Fabricy thing. It says, Dear Stephen Amell, how are you doing? I hope the cold treated you well. 
I sent you some stuff that should help you keep warm that I made for you. The shawl is for Mao and the hat and scarf is for Steven. I guess you can figure it out due to them being your favorite colors. Sorry I didn't get them down sooner, but life I'm working on something else for you that is taking longer than I thought. Hope you like them from Gunner. P.S. There is no catnip in here. <laughs> well, that's probably for the best since now that we have had a treat, the cats are all over here. If there was catnip in if there was catnip in here, they would just dive into the box and destroy it. So these are handmade. That is incredible. Here, I'll let you hold this up. Wow. Or help me hold it up. Yeah, help you hold it. Here, you take that end. Yeah, it's a shawl. Yeah. Look at that. I'm just I'm I'm, I'm always impressed. Yeah, I'm always blown away by the the skill mm -hmm. of uh, of the 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 craftsmen's the craftsmen? The craftspeople that, that create all of the things uh, that are sent in. Here, I'm gonna put it on. Let me give that to you. Oh, she like whipped me. <laughs> he like attacked me a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Thank it's you. lovely. And then inside here we've got. Okay, that's cool. That is really cool. It's really cool. This one's really soft. It's got the logo on it! <laughs> that's incredible! That's so cool. You can't catch to see there's some, that's something dangling. You can't play with this. There's things for you to play with and this isn't one of them. You can have the box. Wow. That is so cool. Here, put the hat on. That is so, so cool. All right, put this hat on. <laughs> I think that'll look very good. The Kepler's just like, but where are the treats? <laughs> no, no, you're done. You get down. There are no more treats. There's nothing. I'm sorry. We we'll have to, we'll have to like put the treats in an IV and keep them on the treats all the time. Uh, this is incredible. Yeah, it is. And this is like completely unexpected. It's also incredible. That's just, it's just super, super cool. Like, I, there's a, I got a custom. Steven Vlog scarf. It's handmade. It's just super amazing. Gunner, I love it. I absolutely love it. These things are super cool, unique yeah, they gifts. Are. And um, this is just like, I don't know, it's the icing on the cake for me, man. This is fantastic. Thank you for sending us this stuff. Our last two packages are from Amazon. Okay. So, open this one up and find a gift note. And this says, Hi, Stephen, Mao, and the cats. I heard you like Star Fox, so here you go. I'm curious of your opinion on, of this divisive game. Hope you have fun with it and take care of yourself from Olav in Sweden, uh, aka Lord Olaus. Oh, it's Star Fox Zero. Um, I have heard of the divisive nature uh, of this, the divisive opinion of this game. Uh, I. The only time I've ever played this game was at E3. When we went to E3, I played this. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Josh Jepsen stood in line and played this. And from what I played, I liked, but I didn't like that they they forced the gamepad on you. Because it felt like it was a Star Fox game. It was like, cool, it's Star Fox. And it's like, okay, but you have to do this terrible control scheme. And I was like, but can I turn it off? No. I'm like, but it's, it's really bad. And they're like, we know, you have to use it. And I was like, well, that seems strange. So this is a game that would be good, I think, for a future first 20, so I can see what changed from the demo level that I played to the three to, you know, the, the final the final game. Because I think that that's what the divisive nature is about. It's, it's about the controls. Because I think the game itself is, uh, a lot of it's like heavily inspired by Star Fox 64, which is an amazing game. But um, you know, if they if they give you terrible controls and they're like, well, deal with it, that's not a good answer. It almost makes me wonder if if the controls are the problem, if they would consider like re-releasing it for Switch or something and give you not dumb controls, and maybe that would fix the problems. Maybe. I do not know. Do you want to play Star Fox? Huh? Kepi jumped up here. Um, the other game that's in here is uh, Star Fox Guard, and I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about that game, but I I did hear, and it was from people that had strong negative feelings about Star Fox Zero, that uh, Star Fox Guard was better. 
and I don't know that for certain, but uh, I would like to at some point try try, both? try these games. Yeah, try both. Try both. Maybe try them both as part of one long first twenty, and get the chance to try try and give them a, both a uh, a fair shake, because um, I I'm really passionate about the Star Fox series. Star Fox sixty four is, is one of my favorite games. It's extremely well done, and um, I don't know. It kind of it kind of kills my soul a little bit to know that they could possibly be ruining the franchise with ju just because they're trying to force bad controls or whatever. Yeah. But at some point, hopefully, I'll get a chance to try this, both of them, in uh, maybe a first 20. Um, and with that, that is actually it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a mail of some shape, size, or weight that you would like to send our way, you can get all of the information for how to do that in the mail FAQ in the description box down below. And also a huge thank you to everyone who sent in things. There are so many amazing things. Uh, we've got Amiibo, we've got... <laughs> Oreos. <laughs> we've got Oreos. Um, there's the, uh, the complete Cowboy Bebop series, and I've got the coolest freaking scarf in the world. So it was, it's a good mail video. It was a really good mail video. Thank you guys. We appreciate it. Um, we will be back next, next month. month for more of the mail that you send our way. We'll open the lid, take out the things, show you the things. How do you live with me? I don't know. <laughs>